Good, good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in Southern New Jersey for our main event of the evening. 10 rounds of heavyweight action between Muhammad Ali and Iron Mike Tyson. Muhammad Ali is coming down to the ring right now, and he does so with a certain gamesmanship, putting forth that attitude to his opponent, telling him, I'm the man, and I know it. Mike Tyson's making that final walk that separates man and warrior, soon to be in battle there in the ring. Remember one thing, obey my commands at all times. Opening round scheduled for 10. With this matchup of Ali and Tyson, what could we expect early on, Teddy? Well, I think the easiest thing to look at to break it down is that you look for the speed of Ali, the elusiveness, you know, the footwork of Ali against the power. The power and aggression of Tyson, but really I think it's gonna come down maybe to the power, the most powerful muscle in the body that we don't think about enough, but Ali does, and that's the mind. And I think it's gonna be the mind as this fight goes on. If Tyson doesn't get lucky early, look for Ali to pull him into places that Tyson is not used to being pulled into. One. Good work by Mike Tyson. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. A crafty counter punch after a fine defensive effort by Tyson. The twists and turns and the non-stop battle. It continues on as we've reached the one-minute mark to go. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Look at that, they exchange hooks. Here we go, round two is underway. Blocks away that headshot. head turns over the hook after turning away his opponent's shot Tyson's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek he just missed that shot up top Teddy many famous fighters especially heavyweight champions are known for their signature punch like Rocky Marciano and his Suzy Q but for Muhammad Ali, he's known for his signature shuffling of the feet, the Ali shuffle. Yes, he is. And, you know, it makes me think a little bit sort of like if you were going 
to buy a real fancy car. You know, when somebody wants to sell you something, wants you to believe in them, they give you something first, maybe a band of entertainment, and then they take you into the showroom. And you know, now you're ready to see the car. Well, that's what that is. That's the band. That's the entertainment. And then the show is about to begin. And it's an unbelievable show with those quick hands and those combinations. So high punch stats comes danger sometimes. Well, well, I made that one up. I don't know if there's actually I like it for that. Oh, wow, what a right hand he just got caught by. And he's looking to tie up. And he's holding. Punch it out, guys. He was damaged moments ago, but now he's got his feet back underneath him. <laughs> Muhammad Ali blocks that punch. There it is! Muhammad Ali is now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. Oh, good exchange there. And now they're trading blows. in terms of pure strategy facing Mike Tyson what can you take advantage of well he needs to be set to punch so obviously you don't want to stand right in front of him you want to give him angles you want to give him some lateral movement keep him off balance keep his feet moving if his feet are moving his hands usually are not coming at you by Tyson. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Mike Tyson. Not able to land that. At it, and you just feel that he's got control of the pace, the tempo. You know, he's winning the fight, but there's a risk there because he's starting to throw a lot of punches, sometimes a little carelessly. That's going to leave him a little bit open to a counter. He missed with that headshot. Every gym's got one of those double-ended backs, right? They give you the movement. You got to hit that moving target, work on your accuracy. He's making it so that his opponent never had to work on one, Teddy. He's just sitting right there, right in front. No head movement whatsoever. No, not at all. He didn't have one in his gym, that's for sure, because he just does not know how to move his head. The old timers would say he gets insulted if you miss him. Move your head! And a sharp counterpunch by Ali. Mike Tyson, the youngest heavyweight champion ever, claiming all three belts, unifying the title, and then, of course, making a ragdoll out of Michael Spinks. How important is that to his legacy? Everything. I mean, he came up with the man, with his mentor, Customato, who had the prior youngest heavyweight champ of all time. That was Floyd Patterson. He wanted to break that record. He planned on, he lived to break that record. Well, the quick read on this guy, if you watch this fight so far, is that he just doesn't jab enough. And that's the most basic thing in the world. You need that punch to make everything else happen. Seconds to go in the fourth. Contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. Well targeted counter punch by Ali. Hey, he's going against his own brain right here. He's actually doing well on the inside. Bad news for his opponent because we already know that on the outside he's the man. Now, if he can be the man on the inside where he's not supposed to be, tough way to beat that. Tyson.
Tyson starting to bleed from the nose. Wow, look at that, trading shots. Muhammad Ali is doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together. This is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is. You're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked. But when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. are these mental gymnastics that Muhammad Ali twists and turns, like his pre-fight antics with Sonny Liston in terms of him getting the results that he wants? Well, I think he looks for two things. It's a double-edged sword. One is that, you know, he can kind of invade the psyche of his opponent, weaken him a little bit. But it's also for himself. It's to build himself up, to give himself something to aspire to, something to make sure that he lives up to puts himself on a spot, a spot that now he has to be sure that he handles. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Ah. The rest of the rounds, he's got to win each one of them. Nothing there on the punch by Tyson. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. <laughs> Mike Tyson's got those earmuffs on, and he's got his hands tight against his body. But Teddy, still, some things are getting through. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like driving a car, Joe, you know, and the, the weather's a little bad, and you say, I want to be safe here, I'm going to stop the car. You don't stop and park the car in the middle of the highway where cars are coming. I mean, he stopped right there in the middle of the highway. Cars are coming. You know, pull off somewhere. You know, get the heck out of there. Find the right parking spot. <laughs> Protecting his head well with his guard. How about that exchange? Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. They're going to have to look really closely, not just at the action overall, but who's landed the cleaner, more effective punches. Missed the body shot. And just as we anticipated, toe-to-toe -to -toe right from the start. No introductions necessary. Teddy, you know what I'm so impressed by? Obviously, the pace of this fight is just ridiculous. But how hungry these guys are. How badly each guy wants it. Joe, this is the kind of fight that it has nothing to do about money. It has everything to do... Oh, that's gotta hurt. Mike Tyson's stunned, and he is hurt. Keep busy, guys. Come on now, keep busy. Great fight. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. Keep your hands up. Both men accurate with their hooks against each other. Nothing there on the punch by Tyson. Now he missed 
that right. How about a return to sender? So, and that's where the corner comes in. Somebody has to whisper in his ear and say, hey, listen, you might think you're in this place, but the reality, you're not. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counterpunch by Ali. What a chin. Can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing? And more importantly, can his opponent believe it? You know what? You want to hit a guy, so you figure that that's a good thing, that's an encouraging thing. This is a case where his opponent might get discouraged just by seeing his guy take those kind of shots. Side, side. Keep your distance. showing some real guts here. Hey, this fight was not going his way at all, but somehow he has gathered momentum. Yeah, he behaved like a fighter. He got through the tough times, and now guess what? Good times in front of him. Good stuff in the opening two minutes. A minute to go in this round. Showing you a little defensive skill there, able to move away from that punch. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Come this situation. Nothing there on the punch by Ali. Target with that straight right. A minute to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. Man down, and the 10 count was administered. The greatest of all.